To start using the Payroll module, go to the menu option for Setup Payroll. The quickest way to get started is to use the Payroll Wizard. You can sort your employees by department, and you can change the department names according to terms that you're familiar with. The next is a suggested list of paid positions, which you can add to or change according to your church's needs. Next, choose the period for your payroll. There are default values for Social Security and Medicare, and you can select from your default chart of accounts your payroll tax expense account. Enter your withholding allowance and set up your federal tax tables. If applicable, set up your state income tax rates. Set up an income item for each employee. Come up with your own numbering scheme for the item number. For the administrative wage, for example, select the expense account. For the senior pastor salary, the income type will be taxable. And for senior pastor housing, the type will be non-taxable. Continue this until you've made an entry for each of your employees. Set up retirement and health benefits if you have them, and add your expense accounts for federal and state withholding taxes. An optional church contribution can be added, and that completes the setup wizard. Next, you will want to set up your list of employees. Click on the Add tab to begin adding the contact information for your employees. The position and the department of the employee are selected from choices made during the setup wizard. And the withholding information can be added for each employee. Each item that doesn't apply to the employee can be deleted. By clicking on the Add tab, pay items can be added to each employee. Each salary amount needs to be calculated according to the pay period. Continue adding all the pay items per employee. Information concerning the employee's time off can be added. After setting up the employees, a payroll run can be processed. Select the payroll group, the payroll period, and the check date. Select which employees in the pay group to pay. Verify the salary amounts. On this last screen, you can choose which payment method to use. You can select either to generate a computer check, or if you use direct deposit, no check will be generated, or you can select manual check, in which case a book entry will be made, for example if you outsource your payroll, in which case you'll have to enter a check number. Some of the reports that you can get in payroll include the standard quarterly report, in the selected payroll data report, you can sort by check number and see a breakdown of each payroll check. And in the item summary report, you can see a year-to-date totaling of each pay item.